Welcome, protege. I hope you're not tired of conditional statements yet. You really have to know about each one so you can better optimize your code. But in the previous tutorials, we covered if-else statements. And in this tutorial, we're going to cover while statements. Recall that while statements continuously executes code within if the condition is true. One thing to consider is this is where your software usually gets hung up, so we have to be careful when using while statements. I already created a script called while statements and already set up the boilerplate code. The first example I'm going to show you is a way to create an infinite loop using while one. Uh, usually you see this a lot in C so your your code runs in a continuous loop and you can do the same thing in MATLAB. And don't forget your, to terminate your while statement with end. To walk you through this quick example, one is considered true. And because this is always true, it will keep displaying this string. Let's go ahead and run this. And notice it just keeps on going. And this will run forever until you terminate it. And to do that, you just hit control C. Going to put a quick comment at the top. Our next example will show you how to use relational operators with a while statement. And recall that your relational operators are greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, not equal, equal. In this example, we're going to check if x does not equal 10. So if this statement is true, meaning that x is any integer but 10, then we will execute the code within this while statement. And don't forget we have to de define this variable x, so I'm going to go up to our variable ma matrix declaration section, and I'll just set that to 0. And I'm also going to increment x because this will, this will also result in an infinite loop if x is always 0. So I'm just going to increment x by 1. I'm going to comment out the first example so we don't get stuck in that loop. And let's run this example and make sure that works. And we know that this works, so let's move on to the next example. One thing that while loops are useful for is called polling, where you're constantly checking, say, an input pin. So for example, if we had a microcontroller and we have an input coming in, we want to monitor that input going from low to high. And I know we can't, you can't run MATLAB on a microcontroller, but that was, that is just an example. Another example would be, say we have interfaced a GPS module. We would have a while statement that will continuously pull the input waiting for the GPS lock so then we can start acquiring the GPS data. And for this example, we're going to wait until the signal goes high. And to do that, I'm going to use I'm going to use x again and use another relational operator and say if x equals equals 0 or low, then we then we stay in this while loop until that signal goes high, meaning that Going back to the example that we used, we used earlier, we have a lock on the GPS signal. I'm going to comment our previ previous example. And we have x set to 0 already. And notice that we keep staying in this loop since the input is not going high. So I'm going to terminate terminate that and then change x to 1. We won't go into this while statement at all. 
and sure enough we don't get any output to the screen. For a quick recap, we showed you how to do infinite infinite loops by using a while one. We showed you how to use relational operators with a while statement and we also introduce you to a technique called polling. That's it for this tutorial. In our next tutorial we're going to show you a more complex example for while statements and we'll also introduce you into flowcharts. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.